Okay, I'm going to show you a uh, version of a lunge here. It's going to be a cross back stepping lunge. Sometimes you call it curtsy lunge. And just something, and you can use this on, on all of your kind of back stepping lunges, whether you go on the straight back or whether you put that little, little curtsy or the cross in it. But you can use support for your lunges. I know some people said it's a little tough, on whether it's the knees or whatnot, or just, just hard on the muscles. You know, if you feel your knee pressure, probably want to roll those quads and then let off a little bit of the resistance by using a TRX. I'll start with my arms. Uh, nice and tight, and then when I step back, I can lengthen my arms and then pull up a little bit. So the movement goes, I'm going to, you know, whether I use the TRX support, whether I use dumbbells by my side, just body weight, barbell on your back, all that works. But if you look at me straight ahead, I don't like getting too much of a turn here, but I'll rotate one leg back, and then the heel probably lines up, uh, or excuse me, the knee probably lines up with that heel right there in the line. And you watch me from the side, you get about 90 degrees of both those knees, okay? So you can do alternating sides, one side and the other. Let me show you right here. Too tight for you. you can also do it with a slider setup right here. Okay. Right. And again, slider setup could be with, I mean, that doesn't slide, but could be with the TRX for support, using dumbbells, barbells, or just your body weight. So progress it how you see fit. And the reason we do that little, that little turn, that little cross, is if you see, it pushes my hip out, and then as I come up, I'm going to work more of my abductor there, so that outside of the butt. So it puts a little more emphasis on that muscle, so that's why you want to rotate that variation in with your routine.